My name is Louise. This is Coralie, my daughter. I work as an ASL consultant um, in this particular project. So I met Hetan uh, a few years ago with another project that we were working on and he just said something that I thought was brilliant, that what we do is so different. But the similar bit that we, that we share is that we both want to connect with people. And I just thought that was very true and a really beautiful way to look at it. And the fact that that was really enough for us to have such a long-lasting collaboration together has been really, really nice. So it's really about that. It's not about the fact that I'm interested in Kung Fu or in pop culture or anything like that. It's the desire to connect. And he had some sort of like instinct about sign language and how sign language could, could fit in with what he was doing. And for me personally, um, because my work is quite varied, I've always struggled with trying to figure out how to make people feel like sign language isn't just about deaf culture, that it's not limited to the deaf community. Rather, it's a unique way of communicating that offers things that other ways of communicating don't. And he sees it in that way as well. I didn't have to try to convince him of that. His work has nothing to do with deafness or deaf people. It's more about the physical means of expressing oneself and he sees something in that. So in terms of dance, or whether it be Kung Fu, or any, any other of those mediums, don't have maybe the same way of expressing yourself that sign language does. So I'm very fortunate that he um, has that instinct. So what he's trying to do with this project is to expand Kung Fu. He wants the Kung Fu to say more. He wants to allow more feelings to come from the Kung Fu, allow the Kung Fu to communicate between the two characters with the audience and so forth. So I think in using sign language and bringing sign language into the project, it allows the Kung Fu to do that. <laughs>